What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one, the only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,400 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys. So I thank you so, so very much. All the shares, the cares makes a huge, huge difference. Now, we are dealing with the COVID-19 beast still floating around and has absolutely just flipped our world just upside down, inside out. And a lot of parents out there are dealing with something that they would never have to deal with otherwise, homeschooling. And today I have with me the wonderful Tabitha from Dash Camp After School. Hey, Tabitha. <laughs> hey, Ash. How are you? I am great. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks awesome. for asking. Not a problem. So, Tabitha, what part of the country are you holding down right now? I'm down in Jacksonville, Florida right mm, now. Okay. Yeah, I was out in New York, but uh, like many people, I escaped the yeah. epicenter of the pandemic, oh, came down to spend time with family, and I've been down here ever since. So, yeah, back in the South. Yes, definitely. (laughs) So, all right, Tabitha, so tell us about Dash Camp After School. Yeah, so Dash Camp After School is a 100% live, interactive, and virtual experience for kids ages 6 to 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Um, We know that parents are thinking a lot about the back-to-school season and it's causing a lot of angst. Um, you know, like the kids are frustrated because they're essentially just looking at a screen all day long and this passive action, they're not getting much movement. They're sitting down all day. Uh, they're not actually getting those, uh, especially if you're doing remote learning, they're missing out on the social interaction that you get from walking to school or in between classes. And so we kind of tapped into essentially um, this pain point that parents and kids are facing right now to develop a program that addresses these two major issues, right? Mm. Kids needing this sense of community and parents who need essentially time for themselves to get things done. So, yeah, what happens is that Dash Camp after school, you know, your child will get social connections with Mm -hmm. peers their age every single day. You know, they're getting physical activities, whether it's through hula hooping or fun TikTok-inspired parties Mm -hmm. or actually doing jumping jacks. We get them moving every single day. Mm -hmm. Um, And then there's also a big component around creative outlets. So they're going to be drawing or they're going to be pretending to be princess or prince for a day. Mm. Um, so it's a lot of building community, creating this fun environment for them so they can kind of get their mind off of this tough time. Yeah. Um, and it's so engaging and immersive that they actually are in front of uh, engaged in this program for two hours so that mm. parent actually can walk away and get work done. Yeah. Oh, or you can get a bubble bath. We won't judge you if you do that, you know. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> So, Tabitha, how are you guys able to kind of measure the effectiveness of the program? Yeah. So I think there's qualitative and quantitative metrics that we take a look at. Mm -hmm. So the qualitative ones um, really come from our love notes that we get from parents every single day. Mm -hmm. Um, And so when I say love notes, I, I have one parent, her name is Teresa, and She is a huge advocate and ambassador at this point, so she's comfortable with me using her name. But she shares in uh, she shares this fact that when the summer started, she saw the light in her daughter start to dim. Right, she's in the house all day. She's not hanging out with her friends. She's not doing much outside of TV, and she finds Dash Camp, and little by little, her daughter Dessa gets her light back. You know, like, that is powerful. When you hear stories like that or you hear the stories of Michelle and her son has Down syndrome and he has asthma, so he cannot leave the house under any circumstance. But he shows up to Dash Camp every single day, um, fully engaged, singing the Dash Camp song, laughing and playing with everyone. (laughs) And it's so funny. This is, like, the most important part of his life, right? Because this is a social interaction. And so even when the weekends come around, he's asking for Dash Camp. Like, to know that we're making that type of difference in in kids' lives, that really is, like, our number one metric of success. 
Gotcha. But then there's also the quantitative, you know, right. looking at our week over week growth, you know, um, and also just taking a look at our retention rates. Like nine out of ten people or families who attend Dash Camp come back for week two. So you're not going to continue spending your money if a particular service isn't meeting your need, right? Yeah. So that tells us that we've created something special that people want to be a part of and have really clung on to because of all the the reasons I've mentioned. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what are some of the system requirements? Like as far as like connecting to the mm-hmm. internet and um, curriculums and things of that nature. What are the system requirements in order for a child to participate in Dash Camp After School? Yeah, you know, we know that we're focused on that busy parent, and our job is to make your life easier. Right. Uh, we take that responsibility very seriously. And so the, the system works like this. You come on, you tell us what path you want. You can pick a three-day, a five-day, or a month pass. And re- depending on what pass you pick, there are different prices, right? Because mm-hmm. we're going to reward the people who are loyal to us. Right. Um, and then you get a Zoom link that is in your personalized portal um, mm-hmm. that is just for you and your child. And literally all you do is you click that link um, at the beginning of your after-school day. Uh, and you can walk away because you know your kids are going to be entertained. They're going to be enriched. And they're going to have a great time for the next two hours. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is literally that simple. Um, you are given a list of supplies you'll need for your art or your science experiments class. Uh-huh. But again, because our priority is to make your life convenient as a parent, we, we choose things that are often laying around the house. So right. things like aluminum foil, you mm-hmm. know, a cup, some water, some paper, some markers, you right. know. We're not going to tell you if you'll get a robot. <laughs> 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 We're not going to do that to you, you know. Um, but the kids still, their minds are blown because we'll have things where we have days where we teach them how to build a volcano that erupts with baking soda, mm-hmm. right? Like, their minds are absolutely blown. Yeah. Or days where we teach them how to make slime with five ingredients that you can find in your kitchen. Right. So, we make it really, really fun for the kids, but easy for the parents. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, a lot of my listeners have multiple kids. So, is there yeah. any way to kind of accommodate families with multiple children? That's a great question. Yeah, we think the more the merrier. So we've done a few things there to support families with multiple kids. Mm-hmm. One is we actually give them a discount. So mm-hmm. if you have that second or that third child, you actually get twenty percent off the normal rate, right? And that's gotcha. the only way to get a discount with us is from siblings. Um, the second thing is we allow you to choose what group your kids are in. So if you want them to be in the same group, we can accommodate that. Or if you're like, you know, they really need to be separated. Mm-hmm. Like, we can also accommodate that so they're a different group based off of time or their age group. So we've been thoughtful about the experience for siblings, whether it's by cost or just the experience overall. Gotcha, gotcha. And when is open enrollment? Um, so open enrollment is currently happening. Uh, mm-hmm. We are actually running a back-to-school special right now where all your listeners will have access to our Get One Day Free trial um, where they literally have no risk, no money to put down to attend and see if it's an experience they want for themselves. It, do they want that two-hour break once the kids are done with, you know, they're either in person or they're distance learning? Do they mm-hmm. want them to have, engage in community and physical activity and creativity while they get an opportunity to have a break for themselves? Mm-hmm. Um, so open enrollment is happening now, and we kick off with the after-school program next Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, September 8th. Awesome, awesome. So that's when it's at. So you guys heard it. Open enrollment is already it's already happening right now. So, Tabitha, let everyone know the best way to, of course, get their child enrolled uh, to possibly try the, you know, like you said, that, that first session. And, um, uh, of course, if you guys are on social media. Yeah. So, to get the one-day free um, pass, and keep in mind, that's three full classes that you're getting um, in two hours worth of programming from people like former NFL players, an Alvin Ailey dancer, mm. uh, from a three-time Teacher of the Year award winner. So, again, we have, like, the best of the best teachers yeah. at our camp. I'm very <laughs> proud of that, um, you know. Um, but you can get access to people for free for a full day by visiting our website, www.dash, followed by the actual dash, camp.com. Um, and our social media is just Dash Camp Official. 
on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Loving it, loving it. Tabitha, thank you so much for joining us today and dropping some gemstones on us all about Dash Camp After School. Hopefully, we'll get some people that want to try it out and become longtime subscribers. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you so much for having me, Ash. You're the best. Not a problem. And thank each and every one of you guys for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.